already, baby. Oh, you know what? You know, you know what? You know what? We're still gonna explode the bed. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, guys. Back on the Minecraft server, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, you can see from the last episode, I have managed to get an insane amount of wool so we can netherite farm. And you're probably thinking, oh, wow. So you actually did end up making the sheep farm that you talked about in the last episode. Good for you. Now, we did things the hard way. I did not make a sheep farm. I have not seen a single sheep since the last episode. I have converted the uh, the entire gold farm into a wool farm. And by converted it, I mean I've just AFK'd for an insanely long amount of time looking for uh, the string. Because string drops from this when you trade it to the one guy. And uh, you can see by the six hundred levels if i die in this episode i'm gonna be so mad because i have worked so long and so hard to get these 600 levels it has been over 24 hours of afking this but uh yeah so one side gets the gold nuggets and the other side if we can land midway through nope still no uh, i've already gone ahead and cleared out most of the crap in this chest but you can see that uh the wool shouldn't have been there the only thing that really drops is the string when you trade with the guy and uh i then take the string and turn the string in to mass amounts of wool and about 24 hours plus of afk and getting 600 levels and insane amounts of gold i have managed to get almost three stacks of wool and i guess since we're heading back down to the base i'll take some of this uh blackstone which i think is awesome i'm not gonna like i really like automatic farms that give you blocks oh wow this this guy is having oh my Oh, <laughs> uh, we got to be careful with those guys because I've been dropping a lot of the gold swords and boots. So that man was able to just loot up, get himself two swords, one in each hand, a little excessive. And on top of that, he's got some decent boots and whatnot. So we're just going to leave them up there. Someone else can, um, someone else can deal with that. So if you guys watched last episode, you know that we got our first set of netherite gear last episode. Not only did we get our first set, we managed to get a helmet, we managed to get boots, and we managed to get a sword as well, which is the first time I've ever had any sort of netherite gear. So we're going to see what all we can do this episode, be a little more efficient about it. Uh, and before we left, one thing I was saying, I love full, fully automatic farms that give you blocks. This farm gives us gravel, gives us soul sand, and it gives us blackstone, which we can use to build different stuff. So now when I go to build something, I've got an SS, well, I can't really build anything out of gravel. It looked terrible, but the blackstone, that would probably make for a pretty good build. And we have so much of it. So, so much of it. Uh, one other thing that I forgot. Oh, also it gives us obsidian. I've got a lot of obsidian from it. Before we go and start farming for netherite, I have got to acquire some more wood, which I have been uh, just, you know, getting it from the nether here. So give me a few minutes and I am going to go ham and chop down. Uh, I, need, I need to get a gold helmet just for these purposes. You guys probably already know this, but if you're wearing a gold helmet, these weird guys, I think the, the hog. Oh, oh, no, we are not losing these 600 levels. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, eat the netherite sword. These guys, if you wear a gold helmet, don't attack you, which I know about that. But I just I don't want to wear a gold helmet, especially now that we got netherite helmet. Like, I'm not going to lie, kind of really like the helmet that I have. Uh, and the reason I've been farming so many of these trees is I like building with these shroom lights. It's just they're kind of annoying to get. So if we farm these as the trees as our source of wood, I also get tons and tons of shroom lights over time. And I think I've got about a stack now, which is the lighting source that I have used for my base. It's just I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some sort of shroom light farm out there that we can make. That's pretty efficient. If you guys know of a shroom light farm, let me know. I would absolutely love to farm just mass amounts of shroom lights. I know we can fully automatic gold farm with like a, our a glowstone with a witch farm, but uh, I don't think we're in any space right now to be making a witch farm. That's a little bit out of our league right now on the server. I mean, I've made giant quad witch farms before, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not looking to quite be in that state with this server yet. Right now, I'm just trying to get some netherite gear. And I think once we finally get a, our full set of netherite gear, I think then it's going to be time to go kill the dragon. I think we'll be ready, we'll be geared up, and we'll kill the dragon for the very, very first time on this server. But instead of boring you guys, I'm going to go ahead and farm a crap ton of wood right now, and I'm going to do it off screen. I'll meet up with you guys when it is time to gather our netherite and work on getting our full set of armor, potentially in this episode. I'm not saying we're going to get the whole thing done this episode. We'll see. We'll see how how lucky we can get with our netherite drops. Because last time we were getting pretty, pretty freaking lucky there towards the end. Ba-da-da-da-da. Ba-da-da-da-da. It is time. 
it is time and we have blown the crap out of this area i've done a little bit of this on live stream as well so we've also we never got any netherite on the live stream but uh yeah one thing to note is um so purple watched our last video um and this was before the one that showed us actually getting the netherite and he decided to uh leave signs explaining how the whole thing works have a block in front of you before getting in the bed if you use tnt it won't blow up as much area but there will be uh area flame you will take damage if you're near the bed unlike tnt so uh thank you purple for explaining to me how beds work uh but we, we kind of figured it out beforehand uh so yeah we have got a lot oh, oh we have got a lot of potential beds we we have we have oh we have got this on lock now look at that baby uh, i'm not gonna make all these into i said that i said i was not gonna make all these into beds and then i completely filled everything up one thing before we do this let's make sure we put on our chest plate and we'll put our elytra in here because like i said pippin will um never he'll deon us if we lose this elytra pippin will actually deon us we've lost one already um so I have got to find a new area. I think, honestly, I need to start backtracking. We have exploded so much of this. And yeah, I know, I know. I'm using an Efficiency 5 Diamond Pick to mine Netherrack. Someone was getting on me the other day. The thing is, I AFK the Gold Farm so much that all these tools are mending. To me, the durability on these don't matter. Like, as soon as I end this episode, I'm going to go back to the Gold Farm, slowly start working on my level 1,000. So the levels that I have right now mean actually nothing to me. Like, are not the levels, the... uh. The durability of this because it's going to go back up to like a million and fully be done again once we go back to afk in the gold farm so what we're going to do is i guess we'll start a new area right here we'll mine out there get efficiency look look at how look at how fast i am at this now boys we have we have really really fine-tuned our skills here and um on a, yeah i need to boom look at that see look we're going to find our first set really really freaking quickly just because of how fast we are at this um tons of beds too like that is our goal i want to get a full set in this episode i'm kind of being i wish i was a little bit more organized about our oh, already baby i wish i was a little bit more organized with how we're doing this instead of just being kind of sporadic it makes it a little bit easier in the long run especially if we're going to do a lot of farming but there is two ancient debris already boys i have a good feeling about this so I think it takes four ancient debris to make a netherite piece of gear. And I want to turn even the hoe. Like, I want to I wanna flex. I want to flex on all the peoples on the server, boys. Which means, obviously, we got to get a netherite hoe. And I, yeah. I, I know. I, I want to make even, even the hoe netherite, you know? Like, sometimes it's not about practicality. Sometimes it's just about the flex. And um, I feel like if we, we stun on purple, especially after leaving those really... Um, I want to say... Those really um, taunting messages explaining to us how. Whoa! Oh! Oh! You know what? You know. You know what? You know what? We're still gonna explode the bed. We're still gonna explode the bed. We're still. We're still gonna explode the bed. But uh, that is, that is sick. Cause netherite doesn't explode. But yeah, we just, we just mined right into some ancient debris. Right into some ancient debris. Oh rip! Oh rip! Okay, we should have mined it. We should have mined it. We should have mined it. Now it's covered in lava. God dang it! You know. You know, um, once again, not always smart decisions here. It didn't, I don't think it blew up any, and I'm positive it can't blow up, right? So there should still be two pieces of ancient debris. Do we lose a piece of ancient debris? People told, okay, okay. Woo, okay, it's still here. It's still here. I, for, I, for a second, I was like, people told me it couldn't blow up. That's why I blew up the bed. No, it is, it is still there. I got pretty freaking scared there for a second because I just thought we lost some of it. But look at that. That already is one piece of gear. We can now make another piece of gear in to netherite with the two that we have managed to secure. And I wish the lava would go away. Like I, I should I should have just mined this. I should I should have just mined it. I should have just mined it. There we go. I don't think it can burn either. I don't want to test that theory, but I don't think it can burn. So there is four pieces of ancient. What the? Bro, I, you can't you can't even make this up. You can't. Oh. Okay, this time we're just going to mine it, not explode it. But uh, there's six pieces. I'm going to keep going this way. I don't... I'm going to keep going this direction. I don't know what it is, but this direction is extremely, extremely lucky. Like, we're just... Oh! Ooh, 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 we got the fire resistance on? We got the fire resistance on? Yeah, get the fire. God dang. 
Woohoo! That is why we have fire resistance potions, which is another cool thing. We get fire resistance potions from the gold farm. So not only are we getting, you know, the beds to explode things with the wool, we're also getting fire resistance potions to help us with, you know, the constant uh, fire and lava. This area has got so much lava in it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way and continue out. That, that just too much lava. Too much lava. Oh my, yeah. Uh, if there was ancient debris there, it's a lost cause. I'm not I'm not getting ready to get rid of that massive chunk of lava. And now we're lost. Honestly, like when I go to leave this area, like I'm not even. I I have I have made a mess here. Which way did we come from? This way, I think so. Uh, you can just see there's tons and tons of hole. This part of the nether will never, never, ever, ever be the same again. Oh, is this our... Okay, so this is where we... All right, let's just go this direction now. This direction. I think we've already made some pretty insane progress. The fact that we have barely used any of the beds and we've already gotten six ancient debris, pretty good odds in my opinion. So I, I haven't done the math. I don't know how much ancient debris. Oh my God, another piece. Oh, another piece, baby. Another piece, let's go. That is our third set we've mined directly to. Ah! So what, is that two? That's eight. So that's two pieces of gear already. We're not gonna need all these beds. We can, we can give some of these beds to purple. We can give some of the beds to purple. You know, help out the, the, the less fortunate, you know? Leave a science teaching us how to freaking do <laughs> to mine it properly. And there we go. No ancient debris here. The hard part is I now have to make my way back and we have kind of just sporadically gone in any which way. What the heck? Oh, we came from up top. I was about to say like this is a dead end. There shouldn't be any dead ends. We haven't built any blocks behind us. All right. Is that a ghost block? God dang it. I was told they fix ghost blocks. Uh, oh, actually, here we are. Made our way back. So we'll take another set of beds. We'll drop off this ridiculous amount of netherrack we have uh, acquired. And look at that. Still so much wool, so much material to make beds with. And uh, yeah, we have got just eight ancient debris. Eight ancient debris already. Gravel. Let's not die to gravel. Gravel can be extremely freaking dangerous. Come on, get rid of the gravel, and then we'll place a bed here. Place the gravel there, explode the bed. And no, nothing interesting here. All right, another bed, place the bed, place the gravel, explode, and double ancient debris. No freaking way. Ah! This is, this is, this is our best episode yet of this. This is, we have got it down. 10 ancient debris right there. We're going to have enough for even the uh, the netherite hoe. We're going to have enough, boys. We're going to have a freak enough. I think it spawns in... Oh, is this a single? A single set of netherite? That's that's a little... It's a little disappointing, but we're up to 11 now. Oh, this side is just fantastic. All right, place the gravel. Explode. Nothing. I'm not going to use our last fire resistance potion. I'm going to keep it just in case of an emergency where lava, you know, lands on top of me like it did a few seconds ago, because that is definitely something. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This direction. You know, when you find lava, all you gotta do is change direction and you will be good to go again. Let's get rid of our bow from our inventory because we don't need a bow right now. If anything, we need gravel and beds. Gravel and beds. Gravel and beds. Nope. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue doing this because you guys probably don't wanna sit here and watch me, you know, netherite farm for like an hour and a half. I'm gonna continue going and then I will meet back up with you guys at the base and we'll see what all netherite tools I am able to accomplish from this set of farming. But luckily in the next episode, we're gonna be doing something completely different because we should have enough after this. Oh, I was about to say if we found some more. We should have enough after this one farming session to uh, pretty much get all of our crap netherite. At least I assume so. Maybe I'm overestimating the amount that I've got and we might really start slowing down here in a minute and, you know, not have an insane amount anymore. But uh, 
at least we'll get all of our picks and stuff. My goal is to see if we can get everything netherite from this one episode. So I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. Ba -da -da -da. All right, so I've got way more organized with it. I started just making a tunnel and I was doing it off the side of the tunnel. Honestly, I have no... Ooh, I forgot. We had to make multiple turns because of lava. I have no idea how much we've gotten, but this is by far the most luckiest experience we've ever had. I've got quite a bit of it off screen on my inventory right now. We've got seven ancient debris, but I've already head back twice to, you know, relieve my inventory a little bit. And we've got some smelting back there. I think we did it, boys. You can see how far this tunnel goes. We, we've been doing this for a while. Almost broke my pick not paying attention, which would have been a little bit upsetting. So we definitely got to go back to the gold farm, work on getting our level 1,000. Hopefully we get it sooner than later. But the thing about level 600, it takes so long to level up right now that uh, but getting from 800 to 1,000 is going to take a long time because each level you go up, it gets harder and harder. We'll leave these beds here for someone else who comes by if they want to you know, partake in some bed activity. Uh, yeah, enough there for someone else to get some, but I think we have enough. I think it is time to fully ascend to complete netherite gear. And you know, we should probably get our elytra and not leave it here so other people don't, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna take it, but you know, just in case, let's get our elytra and our stuff. So I think we have about 15 back at the base. I think it takes two of these, right? Two of these to make one netherite ingot, or was it four? Mm, it might be four. So we've got two picks, we've got our axe, we've got our spoon, and then we've got our, obviously our hoe. The hoe is going to be the last thing. That's only, only if we have enough to flex. I, I don't, I don't know if we'll have that much. And plus, obviously I want the, dude, look, our armor took a lot of damage too. Dang, man, we took, we took a lot of damage, but I think we already have one of each type of tool with us. So we can just, like, the thing is, we just can't ever lose this. This took forever for us to gather uh, we just, we cannot afford to, uh, lose the insane amount of crap. So let's go ahead, break this open. We're going to put four of these in this smelter, put another one in there, and then we'll put two in that and we'll let it go ahead and smelt. And while it's smelting, we'll put this netherrack in here and then we'll put the black stone away over here. Our nice little organized chest system. And we also managed to get some quartz. We'll put that, look at all that quartz. That is enough quartz to build something nice. Put that in there if it would let us. And let's take off all of our gear. Get it right here. Just so a pig can come through and kill us and make us lose our 600 levels. That's the most important thing. We didn't die. We didn't lose our levels. And that is that is all that matters. Let's get some gold because we need gold to make it. Oh, boys, moment of truth. I am excited. How much is in here? Oh, oh 28. Is more being smelted still? I think that might be all of it. 20 freaking 8. Come on. Come on. Come on, we'll check again in a second. So that allows us to make five. Uh, is more being smelted? No, no. So we were able to make five. That might not be enough. No, no. But wait, we got we got a couple more. Wait, does it really take? Oh, we ran out of gold. Okay, okay, we can still make more. I didn't think we were gonna run out of gold. That's not what I thought we were gonna run out of the. All right, there we go. So, boom, seven. Oh, all right. So here we go. What we got to do is go here. Boom. Netherite. Oh, full netherite armor, baby. Oh, ooh. cover me. Crit a full set of netherite armor. Didn't know that was an achievement, but we got it. Oh, look at that. The durability goes up quite a bit. It doesn't really make it mine. Ooh. It doesn't make it mine any faster i don't think so but it does all right that is really freaking cool looking it looks like a glorified stone but no, no oh did we get exactly enough okay i did not plan that and then there we go netherite hoe serious dedication use netherite ingot to upgrade a hoe then reevaluate your life choices didn't know that was an achievement either but uh we got exactly enough like i don't think you guys understand we don't even have a scrap left like we in that mining trip got exactly enough like one we got really lucky got a ton of it and got exactly enough to fully max upgrade everything now uh you can clearly see that we damaged a bunch of our crap but the thing about it is is the gold farm is right above the base so we can quickly uh go full Ooh, let me pass by you make sure we got our elytra on Ooh, elytra looks so good in full netherite but yeah we got the sword is there anything i'm missing we even got the freaking home it looks like a stone hoe. That's the thing about netherite, is it kind of just looks like stone at the end of the day. But if we head up here, 
Uh, and we actually got to, we can't go all the way to the top because I've got to get some arrows. And luckily, ooh, let's not die and lose our 600 levels. That would be really disappointing. And, you know, I promise off screen, I'm way better at this. But, you know, it's just it's stage fright with recording right now. So we can't properly use our crap. Uh, I need to find some arrows. I need to find some arrows. Holy crap. Are there no arrows in here? Okay, arrows. There's a ton of arrows. Because to activate the farm, we've got to have got to have some arrows on us. I wonder how good this is at... <laughs> God dang it. We made a we met a netherite hoe. But hey, it was for the achievement. Even though I had no idea the achievement uh, existed, that's the excuse we're going to use. It was for an achievement. So let's go ahead, activate the gold farm, get in here. And now just very magically and quickly, uh, I'm also going to block this off so we don't take any damage and just watch everything repair itself there's the elytra fixed oh xp go move on to the next tool all right come on that's fixed move over to the hoe that's fixed and obviously okay so the armor is fully ready to go the pick oh actually the pick isn't even going to take that long either this was pick was pretty much completely broken and look at it just look at how quickly it's just Oh, the durability just dude mending was one of the coolest things ever added to minecraft i'm not gonna lie watching your pick slowly break and having to re-get all your enchants was kind of lame and it i definitely think adding mending re-added to the like replayability of minecraft now you can strive after this insanely good gear and then have a way to go about fully recharging it even when it's completely broke but there it is boys so now not only do we have fully maxed out enchanted gear for everything. Actually, I think we can still get thorns and some stuff. But uh, we have a full set of netherite everything. Full netherite armor. Two netherite picks. One mending. Our one silk touch. One uh, fortune. Netherite axe. Netherite shovel. Netherite sword. And even the netherite Oh, But yeah, we're going to end this video off here. I think we are ready to kill the ender dragon. We're probably a little bit overkill for it, but uh, I'm excited for that. And that's probably what we're gonna do in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we got a main channel that we post daily COD content and we got the Facebook uh, channel that we have almost daily exclusive videos over there as well. So make sure you check those guys out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub or a YouTube member and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh, and then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.